Hello and welcome to another video from inzara.com where we discuss simple and effective spreadsheets. In today's video, I would like to talk about an upgrade to our very popular employee retention dashboard Excel template. This template is designed to let users enter employee data in one place and then automatically create three different dashboards. Now we have a new version of this file where we have made three important upgrades. And if you're an existing customer, you've already been using the old file. Now, how do you move all that data into the new file quickly? So now let's take a look at that. So now I have two files open. One is with the data that we used to enter in the old version of the file, where we don't have the internal higher date column. And then the new file, which is doesn't have any data, but has the new add, newly added internal higher date column. So how do you move the data between these two? So it's very simple in two steps. So first you select the data from your old file. You will choose from the cell A4, and then I'm gonna do shift, uh, keep pressing the right arrow in your keyboard, which will move you and select all the columns until this higher date column and then you will now do control with the down arrow, keep pressing the shift and control and the down arrow key. Now it will select all the rows of data in your file. And I have 200 and up till 253rd row, so it selects everything for me. Make sure that you don't have any kind of filters on this table before you select all the data. So I don't have any filters, so I'm just gonna select control C and copy and I'll, I will now move to the other file I have open. So I have the brand new version two template. So now I will right click here on cell A4 and choose the value. So it is very important that you do copy and paste values. Do not do the regular paste or control V. Choose this option. Now we are basically moving the data from that file over here it's done now we also have um, we have the internal higher date column so you can skip this for now because you haven't been entering that anyway until now uh, and now we, let's go back to the old file by switching again and now i will select the other columns from gender all the way to the end um, exit reason and now i will again do while holding the shift key control and down arrow now this will select everything for me and i will do control c to copy and then go back to our new file and here i will just select this uh, cell g4 where which is the start of the gender column and now i will right click and then choose values so now what has happened here is um, all the data for all the 250 rows um, now have been pasted over and we chose paste values, uh, which is the only right method to paste it. So now I have moved all the data over here and now I can go to the data sheet, data ribbon and hit refresh all. So now this is an extremely important step because the, the template uses pivot tables, which means that you have to refresh to do all the calculations updated. So we have now hit the refresh and I can now go to the retention dashboard. And now, again, the same old data that you used to have, but now you can see that they've all been moved over here. And now you can see um, all of that information here. And I can go to the snapshot dashboard and they're all here. I can go to the exit dashboard and they're all updated. So all of the dashboards will automatically update with that refresh button. And now we have moved all your data over to the new version of the file. Now you can go ahead and use this as your uh, main file and keep making changes to the employee data as always. Remember that this new file has one extra column for internal hire date, which you would want to use to track any changes in your employee profile over time. As always, keep making backup copies of your template file uh, as you enter more and more data, depending on how much, how often you enter, maybe a weekly or a monthly backup 
so just in case if something happens you can always go back to the previous uh, previously saved version of your file if you have any questions or if you need any assistance in moving your data from the old file to the new file we'll be we'll be happy to do it for you free for you so please reach out to us support at inzara.com thank you very much for continuing to provide feedback on what functions and what functionality and what features should be added to the template we heard your feedback and that's how we were able to um, decide the features to add to this template and that's how this new version has come to life thank you all for continuing to provide your feedback thank you and i will see you soon in the next video